All right, what's up, everybody? Welcome to Monday afternoon. We made it through the first day of the weekend. Of <laughs> the weekend. I guess I'm still on the weekend. We made it through the first day of the week. But Monday's 4 o'clock Eastern time only mean one thing. It means Jenny Housley's going to be playing <laughs> World of Haiku, and I'll be your host, Smart Hands Osier, operating, <laughs> operating the keyboard and mouse for Jenny Housley. Inside joke, folks, but no, every single uh, Monday at 4 o'clock, I play World of Haiku or Haiku Pro in World of Haiku. I'll be explaining to you how World of Haiku is a dynamite platform for learning fundamental Linux, uh, file system navigation, a couple, you know, critical commands that we use all the time in our Linux uh, use, and a couple fundamental information security tools. Really, if you want to talk about, you know, those, um, those gravity pools where like you don't take steps to get into the water, it's like just a ramp. That's what World of Haiku is if the pool was cybersecurity. Like, you don't just have to dip a toe in it. You can kind of like gradually walk in. Nice, gentle immersion into the world. So we're going to have a good time. We always do every Monday. My name's Jerry Osier. This is Simply Cyber or Haiku Inc. We're streaming on both platforms right now. Want to say what's up to Tony, Shane Andrews with the chat GPT, Lane H in the house, Ben Sweden. Good to see you guys. What up, Shane Andrews? A lot of squad support up in here. Definitely take advantage of those new how. Is it HAL 3000? HAL 1000? I think it's HAL 1000, right? Let me see. HAL 1000? Is it HAL 1000? It's HAL... Oh, HAL 9000. HAL 9000. Enjoy the HAL 9000. That's our chat GPT. Good to see it. Adam Sintani. Casually Joseph. What's up? That's exactly right. Casually Joseph. Jenny Housley. I'm going to have to get a shirt. Jenny, I'm going to have to get a shirt that says... Jenny Housley, and then Jenny Housley can wear a shirt that says Haiku. <laughs> uh, the four to five answer in class today. My network teacher told me I answered enough. He knows I know. Yeah, meow, meow. All right. So, guys, real quick, I'll, I'll be jumping on, stuck on the John the Ripper dojo. Oh, Kevin Lucas. I was going to do some Hydra, but if you guys want, and if it helps Kevin Lucas out, I'm happy to jump into some... Uh, John Dojo and kind of just tear around a little bit. There is no Jenny and team. Let me know, Kevin Lucas. I'm happy to help. Let's take a look at the game. <laughs> you guys are so funny. All right, let's take a look at the game really quickly. So this is World of Haiku. You can get it on Steam right now. Um, I'm actually kind of curious. I was talking to some people earlier today. I'm going to start a poll. World of Haiku is available on Steam. Would you want it? Would you want World of Haiku in a uh, like SaaS app, web-based app? All right. All right. Here's a here's a question for the community because uh, we were kind of curious. This is on Steam. You have to download Steam to launch this. Would you want it in a web-based SaaS application? You go to a website. And you're presented with all this and you're jacking around in there. Or do you not even care? Doesn't matter. You put it somewhere, I'll play it. Let me know. I do love me some Hydra. It is good. Hydra sounds interesting too. All right, well, let's do a little bit of both, guys. Let's dive right in. So this is World of Haiku. Uh, again, you can see the links in chat below to get on. Get it on Steam. Very, very useful for learning. Um, basic, basic stuff. Oh, here's another thing I learned today. So... I'm on explore right now. You can choose two modes. This is a new function that uh, World of Haiku offers. Story mode um, is exactly what it sounds like. You run around the... Um... How do I get back to the map, y'all? Hold on one second. Give me a second. I'm trying to... Something seems wrong here. Something seems wrong. Hold on. It's saying I'm not logged in. This is a problem. Let's exit. Let's exit. Can we load? No, let's exit. Let me see if I can load a game. Load a game. That's what I should have done. Okay, something's, something's not right. 
So you can see I just completed these two missions right before we uh, jumped on stream. Um, this does not look correct. This looks incorrect, actually. So what I'm going to do is I'm actually going to close um, Steam and see what happens. I may have I may have jumped the shark here, guys. Let's go back to let's go back to me while I do this while we're doing this here. Let me exit. I'm going to launch Steam again. I only want the SAS app so I could actually play while on Linux. Good point. Good point, Kevin Lucas. Good point. All right, let me see here. You can see I'm now going to load the uh, the game here. All right, here we go. So now this is the map. Obviously, my camera is covering up part of the map. Whoops, that doesn't look right. There we go. Oh, did I hide all that stuff here? There we go. <laughs> all right, so I'm covering my camera up, but you can see it's basically, um, a, a, you know, a linear world. You see how it kind of goes like this world and this world and this world. They're not. It's not like a, a toke, you know, a ring, uh, network topology, a star topology. It's very linear. That's one, two, three, four. So the story mode actually has you follow through the events in chronological order. There is a really immersive storyline with rich characters, rich worlds, complex problems. It's fun. At minimum, it's worth playing through once, if not, you know, a couple times as you begin to get familiar with the players, the corporations, the factions. Let me see, I can't see. Okay. Um, but in the explore mode, which is what I'm running in right now, you basically can go anywhere in the game. I do want to point out if you launch the game, you do have to go through a basic, a basic, basic tutorial before you get access to the explore mode. So just be mindful of that. Now, it is like Mario, side scroller action adventure. Okay. All right. So let us do really quickly John the Ripper for Kevin Lucas, okay? Now remember, John the Ripper is a um, it's a password cracking application. You feed it hashes. It's basically like a glorified rainbow table. You feed it um, a list of uh, hashes, and it computes the hashes to see. Uh, it, it computes passwords into hashes to see if it gets a match, right? And if it does, that means the password it ha just hashed is in fact the right password. You might be asking yourself, but Jerry, how can such a nefarious application exist? The idea behind John the Ripper, at least the one that get, makes it legal, is that you can use it to... Um... Oh, hold on one second. I got to close my door. Hold on. So the idea behind John the Ripper is that you can use it to test the passwords in your environment without a end user giving you their password. You can actually, you know, dump um, Active Directory and use John the Ripper against it to see if anybody has a crap password. That's the deal behind John the Ripper. I don't know any admins who have done that before. Oh, that's cool. Eric McClellan found the story mode kind of dubious at first, but then found it quite engaging once he got into it. Very nice. <laughs> uh I am not, I'm actually ChatGPT's uh, first body. Yeah. All right. So in a dojo, a dojo has you test different uh, tools. And in this one, we're in the John dojo. You see, we get this network topology, kind of fun. Uh, these are the flags that we're trying to get. And every launch you know, it's different. So Kevin Lucas, watch me play this game and then follow me step by step. So Jay Bronco says he finished the game in 10 hours and there's nothing else left to do. I will let you know, Jay, that there's a lot of items coming, additional content, DLC stuff. Like I'll show you in a few minutes. I was actually supposed to demo some of the new content right now, uh, but there was a, a small issue with my, my user account on Steam, not with the actual uh, content. Okay, so I, yeah, you guys, I had to replace my batteries uh, in my back. All right, so we are on here. So let's get started, right? Let's see what computer we're on. Um, all right, so 
Oh, I, I think we have to just walk through this initially. So flag, flagged file name. Okay, there we go. So it's just showing us how to capture flags. This is pretty standard for, um... oh, I'm sorry. This is the end map dojo. Kevin Lucas, I'm sorry. Let me get out of this dojo. I made a boo-boo. How do I get to the map? Yeah, let me leave this dojo. I made a mistake. I went to the wrong dojo. All right. There's the dojo. All right, here we go. All right, there we go. So now we're in the John Dojo. Good to see you again, Jerry. Well, thank you, Inky Alt. Good to see you and your ridiculously oversized hand. A man's got a strong, a strong hand. Makes you think of that uh, arm wrestling guy from Germany who's like my size, but then has the arm of like Arnold Schwarzenegger. You guys ever seen that guy? Just the one arm. It's, it's. I think it's like a birth defect or something. Or not a birth defect, but like a something to do with how he was, you know, anatomically uh, just happened to be his genes. Okay, so let's get um, this word list. Okay, Kevin, hopefully you get the word list, no problem. So we're downloading. Did we get the word list? All right, so there's our word list, right? And they don't show it, but if this was a real Linux operating system, this would just be like a literally a list of like password, password one, two, three, admin, ABC, ABC one, two, three, I love you, God, you know, Clemson, Tigers, whatever, okay? All right. Rare syndrome, yeah. Jerry GPT missed the cache. Okay, so let's, let's uh, look at this. So we've got uh, a file here called Kimberly Hash. Let's check that out. All right, so here's a hash for Kimberly. Now, the way John works is um, you have to pass it a hash file. So typically what we say is, you know, in this case, we're gonna echo that into um, Kevin Lucas, <laughs> Kimberly hash. All right, .txt. All right, so now we have a file called Kevin Lucas, right? There it is, Kevin Lucas. And it's basically, oh, I'm such a donkey. <laughs> Guys, I'm so I'm so used to uh, echoing hashes into files that I could have just passed Kimberly hash into John. All right, so let's do this. Let's do John Kimberly. No passwords found. Okay, so let's look at the John uh, hash. We're gonna have to give it the password list that we just downloaded. Okay, so let's do that. Let's say John dash dash word list, which is an argument we're passing word list dot duh, and then Kimberly hash. And there we go. Let's see. Do we do this? All right, so we got Kimberly's password and username. So now let's find Kimberly's box. And, uh, oh, there she is. All right, so we got her username. Let's do Kimberly Ferguson. And for those who don't know, this is a standard kind of convention for username, password, username, colon, password. So we're gonna log into her box. And uh, here we are. See, we got two new hashes to look at and a flagged file. And you can see one of our flags up here is find flagged file on Kimberly PC, right? So flag, flagged file, dot txt, winning. All right, so we got that one. Um, What's Inky all? He's going to say something nice to us. Mm, look at you. You're on fire. Fancy. All right. So now let's keep digging in. We've got Sarah's PC and we have a flag for Sarah's PC. So again, this, this dojo is not too tough for, for us. We got a lucky kind of build. Um, why can't we look at Sarah's hash? It's peculiar. Um, let's try to do this. 
Oh, can we um curl the uh Alright, so what I just did was I pulled the word list down onto Kimberly's PC. You like because it's a a lab, it's fine to do. I would never do this in a real engagement. You would never want to drop your uh <laughs> you wouldn't want to drop artifacts and evidence on compromised workstations. That would be wicked stupid. So don't do that, okay? All right, so let's do this. Um, let's do John word list. Dash dash word list. Equals uh, word list. Da -da. And then Sarah. Ooh. So we got Sarah's password. Oh my God, hold on. All right, guys, so now we got Sarah's password, right? Sloppy shreds. Yeah, that's a good way to put it. Uh, this is where I get stuck. I tried using SCP, but no luck. No, Kevin, you don't need to do that. So Kevin, so Kevin's point, here's what you could do. You could do one of two things, right? You could either, um, actually, I don't, I don't even think SCP exists in here. Oh, it does have SCP. Interesting. I didn't know they added that. So you could do secure copy, but you could also just curl it down to your own to this workstation, Kevin. So give that a shot. All right. So let's join Sarah's box. Where is she? Sarah. 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 There's Sarah. All right. So the weird thing is her password is Sarah Garza. What's her username? Sarah PC. I feel like this is a username, don't you guys? Unless you think it's Sarah is her username and Garza is her password. No. I feel like Sarah Ga Garza is her password, right? Don't you? Let's do it again. Sarah and then Sarah Garza. All right, I can I can tell by those you are an alpha. What's up, Jess Bishop? God's my admin. All right, so I'm I'm kind of confused what uh, Kimberly uh, Sarah's uh, password is. Let's look at Adam PC. Do we have we do have a, a thing for Adam? So let's look at Adam PC. Then let's do John. And we'll do Adam PC. All right, so now this looks more right, right? We've got this and this. So let's let's get over in Adam's PC. Doink. I really feel like Sarah Garza is her username and her password is uh, unknown. All right, so we got onto his box. And there's a flagged file in there, so let's look at that. Oh, you know what, guys? You know what? I bet you we have to do um, Hydra to get to um, Amanda's box. I mean, Sarah's box, right? What's on this machine? Amanda PC hash. Let's back. Let's let's exit back to Kimberly's machine really quickly, right? We have Sarah Garza. Check this out. We got Sarah Garza, but we don't have her uh, thing. So let's use Hydra. So this is a good time to use Hydra. Okay, so. I just forget the stupid, um, so it's Hydra and then Sarah's PC, which is 192.208.233.223 dash L is Sarah Garza dash P is word list, right? And then SSH, let's let this baby fly. Error, unknown protocol. What are you talking about unknown protocol? It's running SSH, buddy. Did I do it wrong, guys? It's definitely running it. it was I supposed to say um, SSH dot slash slash? Like, is that what we're supposed to do? Oh, there we go. Now we're cooking with gas, baby. So I had to use Hydra to uh, brute force that password. 
So we're getting a little bit of Hydra, a little bit of John. I, 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 I spiced in some Nmap just for giggles. Mm. Mm. Okay. So we're in Sarah's PC. Let's get that flagged file. Nailed it. Kevin Lucas, let me know how this is helping, man. Is this helping at all? Was it just... Oh, that is interesting. I wonder if uh, you haven't done the Hydra dojo yet. Um, that might be an interesting question for the mods. I'm asking a mod right now. All right, we'll get some answers on that. Okay, so Kevin Lucas, holler at me. How many people are we rocking in chat right now, guys? Give me a second. 29 of you. Nice to see you. Oh, yeah, so the curl sequence is good. Omatola, what's up? Hi, good to see you again, too. Yep, I agree. Uh, all right, so let's just do a couple more. Um, we have to go to Adam's PC. I think we... We just got to get to Adam's PC. I didn't take... I didn't... Like, like a really crappy uh, InfoSec red teamer, I didn't write down the usernames and passwords, so I should have, but I didn't. We're just carving through here anyways. We're not, we're not, we're not here for a long time. We're here for a good time. All right, we're in Adam's box. Right, here's Amanda's PC. So let's do John dash dash word list. Again, it feels repetitive, but there's a reason it's repetitive. It's repetitive because it's supposed to be. It's supposed to teach us. Now, Kevin Lucas, look, I don't have I don't have the um word list here, right? So if I do John dash dash word list equals word list dot LST and then Amanda PC hash. I get an error because you could not find the word list, right? That's because we got a curl. We got a curl from this website, this file, right? Curl is just like basically the, the lightest, lightest of lightweight web browsers. If you want to call it a browser, like it basically just queries and pulls down um, resources from a URL. Now we've got our word list. So if I press up twice to get into the bash history, I can run the same exact command and it will work this time. I don't know if it's going to give us the password, but it'll work. And it worked. All right, let's bust into Amanda's box. Amanda, where are you at? <laughs> See ya. Doink. And then get the uh, get the old password. I, I, I will give them credit. They have great SSH passwords. Like this is obviously random generated. All right, we're up in her machine. We should see a uh, flag in here. We do see a flag in here. And we got credit. Nice, nice, nice. So let's hope Doris is up on this piece. I don't see Doris in here. Not good. Not good at all. Do you think that they would... Uh... Usually the hash files are always on the uh, root directory. Has anyone had to go like go and find them? Do do them drones headline. All right, so there's nothing in here. Um, oh, Doris is right there. So let's look at Doris's flag. Okay, so let's do the John dash dash word list again. This is a John dojo, so we're supposed to do John type things lots. Nailed it. All right, so we have to use Hydra again because we only have her password. Unless that's her username, which would be absolutely ridiculous. So let's use the bash. Hey, I will tell you guys, like, I'm, I'm using the bash history, but it probably would behoove you or, or serve you well to actually type it out, right? Instead of instead of just using the bash, bash history, typing it out is how you get that muscle memory, okay? Let's do dash L. And uh, we don't have a user list, do we? Crap. 
crap, 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 crap. We don't have a user list. Hmm. Interesting. Any thoughts, guys? I mean, should we try to... I feel like we should try to... Uh... We got our password. Right? Let's do an end map on her box. This is not a real end map functionality, but in World of Haiku, sometimes when you end map scan something, you get, um, where's doors? Sometimes when you end map, you get a um, username. There it is. All right, so end map 191.192.1.67. Let's do dash A. Uh, okay. <laughs> Whoops. Um, SV. There it is. Um, hmm. What's the uh, dash dash O dash SV? I think it's dash O. All right, there it is. So this is not a function inside of Nmap really, but in the world of Haiku it is. So we scanned our machine, we got this. All right, we're gonna try to log into her box. Doris, Wells, uh, whoops. Doris, Wells, and her password is this hot mess that we found a little while ago. Right there. Remember? There it is. Wow. All right. And there's our flag. And we're about to... Hey, Ben Sweetnam, warm the bus up. We're getting out of here, buddy. All right. So we just shredded this uh, dojo. Nice job, everybody. Nice job. It was freaking sweet. You can see when you complete a dojo, it does tell you. Like, I used John quite a bit. I used Echo a little bit. Um, you can see it keeps track of how much you've been doing it. And when you sit, hurt, hit certain thresholds, it will uh, give you uh, sub-badges that kind of map into a skill. Like, um, like, re infer like reconnaissance or, you know, um, exploitation or, you know, brute force attacking and stuff like that. So it's pretty cool. All right. Enough of this. Let us get into some Hydra action. Again, guys, if you're not familiar, um, each world has two missions. You can see that I've already completed these missions. And this one, I have not completed it. So I wouldn't be able to do 2B. I'd have to do 2A. It, it's it's very much a linear scrolling mission. Okay, 3A, 3B. It's a great storyline. There is a little bit of urgency at some of the maps. Thanks, Ben. Let's do Hydra and uh, let's melt Hydra's face. If you're not familiar with Hydra, it is a um, it's a it's a listening service brute forcing attack tool. A lot of people use it for secure shell, but you could do it to, to brute force anything that has a login, like Microsoft RDP. Um, I think. Correct. Fact check me on that. But like FTP. Actually, it probably can't do RDP because that's a um, GUI. But at least any. Um, any command line interface, remote access things. Okay. No, Harish. That's one of the big fallacies. Like, there is a million things to learn in cybersecurity. Like, a million things. Yeah, Casually Joseph, as I said it, I, I'm thinking it's um, command line interface only type stuff. <laughs> Just Ben. Yeah. I heard, are they going to be doing the Secret Wars storyline? I think they are, right? Like... Wasn't Secret Wars um, with the, the Krill invasion? or I don't know if they would do the one where Captain America is like secretly a Hydra. You guys, have, has anyone seen that storyline? It was in the comics. It was a pretty popular one. Like basically, Captain America was like brainwashed, like wicked, wicked early. Um, and he was like an undercover Hydra agent. It's kind of bananas. Yeah. Guys, the best thing to do to learn cybersecurity is to not be intimidated by it and just start, just go up, fill your, if you're thinking about getting into cybersecurity, 
Just go up to the buffet, get your plate, fill it, fill it, fill it, fill it, fill it, fill it. Go sit down, eat, 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 breathe, eat, eat, eat. Note that you liked that bite. Eat, eat. Oh, I don't like that bite. Get up, go back to the buffet, get more of the things you like, get less of the things you don't like, sit back down, eat, eat, ask the person next to you what they're eating, ask the person to the other side, what do they, what do they like, what do they not like, ask if you guys are eating the same thing, maybe ask if you want to go up to the buffet table together the next time you go. It's a silly little analogy, but what it, it it's completely appropriate. You just gotta, you gotta just eat, you just gotta eat, man. Can't, you can't be just studying the menu all day, every day. You got to get in the game. Okay. All right. So this is World of Haiku, which is a great way to, to eat, eat, eat. All right. So check it out. Let's let's get this guy all fired up, Minky Alt. You don't see me dot txt. Let's see what that is. Here, I think I'm actually going to do like this whole album. This whole video game album. All right, here we go. Here we go. You don't see me. I see you. All right, so let's do this. Let's do John, you don't see me. No passwords found. We actually do need a word list, I think. Um, which it didn't tell us how to download a word list. I mean, we, we had it from that previous... Um, dojo but i forget what it was let's see are there any word lists up in here there's the word lists all right so let's do this because i'm lazy because i'm lazy okay guys um Oh my god, what do you mean permission denied, bro? I was trying to be lazy. <laughs> I was trying to be lazy, but that's fine. Alright, let's do this. Uh, let's do Rock You, which would be... I just didn't want to type out the whole um, directory. I was being lazy. Could not find word list. Brosif. All right. All right, so let's do this. PWD. Okay. All right, there we go. We got this and this and an IP address. So let's do SSH. 10.1, uh, let's do Danielle Dunn. We can't see any network right now, by the way, guys. I don't know if you can see. This could be a little intimidating. You can't see any network. Which is kind of like real life, right? You don't know exactly what you're getting into. All right, there we go. Let's light this baby up. All right. So where are we? We're on Danielle's box. All right, so let's do this. I'm just iterating. Ooh, the Zion key. Let's back away from that thing. Um, I'm just iterating over some uh, directories to see what's in here. Password lists. Okay. So now we can see Danielle's machine and Kyle's machine. So let's do an nmap dash sv dash o on 10.0.0.162. Uh, we got the OS version. We didn't get username or password. Okay. I'm looking at chat really quickly. Uh, hacking would be so much easier if you had permissions. Yes, of course. If you're a diplomat, can you hack orgs and not be charged for the crime? Um, it's actually funny you say that, um, just Ben. Check this out. Um, if you, ha if you're fo a follower of the, um, Simply Cyber Daily Cyber Threat Briefing. It's important to call this out. Um, let's see.
there's a... Yeah, let's check this out. Just to your point, to your point, uh, Ben, I'm going to just show this really quickly. Um, I don't even know if I can show this really quickly. I, I have no idea like what what is going to be shared here. Check this out. This is an article from routers from J January 9th, right? Where Meta, aka Facebook, is trying to sue Pega uh, NSO Group, who made the Pegasus software, and, and um, you know, for what it did. And NSO Group is claiming diplomatic immunity because the tool was being used under the under the um, authority of a foreign government, right? So, like a government. Like, let's just say the government of Pretoria, just to pick up, make a government up. The the government of Pretoria bought NSO Group's tool and then used it to spy on um, people's Facebook accounts. And Meta is suing them for that invasion of privacy. And they're claiming that diplomatic immunity prevents, you know, that from happening. So stay tuned for that one, Ben. All right. Okay, so let's do um, let's do some Hydra action all up in this dude's grill. So Hydra, remember you can do man and then the command just to uh, remember how to do it. Uh, you can see it's very very informative, but we're just con concerned in this because we know what Hydra does. Okay, so we're gonna do Hydra SSH colon 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 ten dot zero dot zero dot six one sixty two. And then we're going to do dash uh, L because we don't have any, <laughs> we don't have a username or password. So let's hope I don't have a, I don't have a username list either. Hmm. That kind of stinks. Do we have one on this guy? Kenneth? Hold on one second. Hold on. I gotta, I gotta see this guy's IP address. 10.00.108. Okay. So let's do nmap. Dash SV dash O ten zero zero was it eight or one oh eight? One oh eight. Okay, one oh eight. Hmm. I'm not getting usernames, guys. I'm not getting usernames and I'm not digging it. Alright, Jenny Housley. I'm Danielle Dunn on this machine. I've got password lists. <laughs> Why is this? Why is this on this machine? All right, I don't have a user li list though, which is a problem. All right. IP A config network mask. Okay, hold on one second. All right, so IF config. So the IF config is ten zero zero. So it's it's you know it's basically uh, what is this class A address? So Jenny, are you suggesting we can discover more boxes by doing this? Oh boy, we just entered. We just entered the power user zone with cider addressing. Woo! This is why Jenny Housley's here, folks. Look at Jenny Housley just kicking off, kicking the door open on this network, bro. All right, let's see if we can find some uh, usernames up in here. Thank you, Jenny Housley. Did I type it in wrong? Where's all the uh, usernames? Oh, there's one. Hey, Hannah. Hey, Hannah. Do do. There's another one. There's a password. Should probably take these down. What box is that for? Ten ninety one seventy four. Ten ninety one seventy four. 
49 password and then Hannah Peterson is all up on um, 10.148.78 which is where we're definitely going to go next since we have a username and we don't have a username list yeah some notepad action hey gotta gotta take notes man we gotta we gotta here all right let's use hydra now all right so we're gonna do hydra again i'm gonna show you guys the how you can quickly put this up here so you can look at it while you're typing it's very very helpful hydra ssh colon slash slash um 10.148.78.50 dash L Hannah Peterson and then dash P would be um, oh gosh I password dot txt <laughs> all right password dot list okay did I type these flags in backwards no this is correct All right, here we go. Password LG dot LST. What does it mean? Word list not it doesn't exist. Like, what are you talking about? Am I misspelling it? Password medium dot LST. You might have to do it from your computer, but not sure. Um, no, you don't, you shouldn't have to because, you know, it's, it's, uh, oh my God, you're right. It's not even here. Oh my God. All right. Thank you. All right. Let's find, uh, find some password. Oh, here we go. Oh, and there's our username list. All right. So I'm just a big dummy. I'm just a big dummy. Oh. Here we go. Let's use the rock you list, right? Here we go. All right, so we got Hannah's... Get the flag file on Hannah's PC. That should be easy. Right? So what we just did was used Hydra to brute force the password okay now one thing i'll point out I, so we just we just walked into this machine one thing i'll point out guys this password right here is not inside the rock you text file this is a ridiculously like you know one-off complex password oh thank you Aaron kg what did we just become best friends yep appreciate it appreciate it so the rock you text won't have this password in here but just know that if you are doing brute force attacks um that the rock you um word list is a good one to start you can also there's a github called sec lists sec lists i'll type it in chat here or on stream or whatever you want to call it look at that one that's uh that's a hot that's a hot one in fact let me show you guys on chat since it's uh This is my stream we can make it as we want this right here put it in chat this is super legit super legit if you don't know about this bookmark it check it out it's way more information than uh just passwords okay all right so let's we're on hannah's machine let's find this flag doink we win all right here we go so who's else this machine do we gotta get? Rebecca and Madison's. Let's find out. Rebecca, Rebecca. Is this Rebecca? Yes. Rebecca's 10616. Okay, so let's do nmap 10 uh, dash sv dash o 10.68.75.191. Let's see what we get for Rebecca. All right, so we don't get much information, but that's okay. We have um, we have username lists and password lists, so we're we're hot to trot, baby.
Exactly, exactly, Jenny. Yeah, there's a lot of lists in information security for sure. All right, so Rebecca's. Rebecca and then 10.68.75.191. Okay, so let's, we're on our list. Let's do uh, Hydra. SSH colon slash slash 10.68.75.191. And then let's do capital L and do username long.txt and dash P uh, rock you dot text. Now guys, remember like the username list, it's not like using AI or machine learning or anything. Like it's literally a list of uh, word, like names, like, like, you know, name one, name two, name three. This is why when you see like a data breach and, um, you know, it's like all they got was the email address or all they got was the usernames. It's like, that's an input into a tool like this. That's why it's useful. All right. Oh, did you guys see my tabs? Is that, I didn't even think about my tabs. Can you see my tabs? You probably can't see my tabs, can you? Yeah, I, mean, <laughs> I got some tabs. Okay. <laughs> That's a look behind the, behind the scenes of my insanity. All right, let's do rock you. No username and passwords found. Okay. So because we're doing two dynamic variables right now, we have to like basically iterate through each iteration to validate whether or not it's possible. Kind of stinks because there's going to be a lot of options. This is why having a username is valuable because you have half of the, the key. Username text long or text medium. All right, so none of those worked. So the username list Username long that I was using is not, um, oh, I'm an idiot. I'm an absolute fool. Have you guys been telling me in chat that I've been using the freaking username list? Oh my God, I'm such a dummy. I was trying to crack passwords with uh, a username list, which would work for admin admin, but that's about it. Okay, password medium.txt, okay. Password short dot text. Nope. Password text medium dot text. Nope. All right, so we gotta change the username to medium. Hmm. Oh, it's not password. Password short. <clears throat> password medium. Password text medium. Did I do all of them? Password short. Password medium. Password text medium. Okay, so I did all those, so that's not going to work either. Um, all right, so I have to do a username text long. And then password medium text. Password short text. Password text medium. Thank God we only have three. Oh my gosh, okay. This is our final, final uh, iteration, guys. If it's not in here, it's not in here. Oh, I didn't use the rockyou.txt, did I? There it is. Winning so hard. Okay. So now let's get into... Um, whose machine was that? Rebecca's? All right, Rebecca. Open the door, Rebecca. It's me. Puppy. 
Nice. All right, guys, we did it. There's the flagged file. Winning, 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 winning. Good job, everybody. Looking at chat. What's Caleb saying here? I was about to say, all right, he needs Carl to crack passwords. I'm going to make a meme like this. This is your brain, your brain on drugs. This is your brain. <laughs> oh, that's funny, Joseph. All right, there we go. All right, so we've got one more box left, which is uh, Madison's PC. Oh my God, speaking of Madison. Wow. I don't want to take this. Uh, this stream is being paired on Haiku, so I won't talk about it, but I listened to the, I think the newest episode of Dark Nut Diaries. I don't want to talk about it on stream, but it is the darkest of Dark Nut Diaries. All right, 10, 91, 74, 49. And let's do dash S, dash O, dash S, V. Let me see this really quickly. How many people we got? 36 people in here. If you're just lurking, happy to have you here. Welcome to the stream. All right, so there's our password. So we're winning, 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 which is great because now it'll save us time. Oh, hold on. Let's exit out of this puppy. Let's do this. Let's take some notes. Doesn't this song sound like it's from Goonies 2, the Nintendo video game? You guys remember that one? Like when you'd enter one of the rooms, you could like knock a hole in the wall using the hammer. It's pretty dope. All right. All right, so we have the password. So now we just need to do Hydra, uh, SSH colon, sl sl SSH colon slash slash, Madison's IP, which was, uh, where's Madison's IP? There it is, 10.91.74.49, which by the way, was what we saw earlier, right? We just didn't know it was Madison's PC. We know the login name. Oh, no, we don't. We need to pass it um, username, long.txt. We know the password. Password is this hot mess. Let's go. Error. Oh, I, I got the letters wrong. There it is, got it on the first shot. Nice people, you know what we're about to do to this uh, this dojo? <laughs> oh my God, so Kevin Lucas, there's actually like a, um... so by the way guys, I was getting the lowercase uppercase wrong. This is a perfect reason why you do the dojo. You just get, you get, um... you get muscle memory. Like you could read a book on how to use John or Hydra or anything and that would be fine but you're not gonna it's not gonna stick with you as much as actually doing it so back to Kevin Lucas's yeah there was a Goonies game called Goonies 2 there was no Goonies 1 game as far as I know it was like it had to do something with like licensing or proper proprietary rights or it was like Goonies 1 was released in Japan or something but oh it's it was so good it was like such a classic game. I think you had to beat it in like, I don't remember if there was like a save system too. All right, we're in here. There's our flag. All right, guys. We did it. We did it. We did it. We did it. Nice job, everybody. Nice job, Jenny Housley. Captured all the flags. Dojo complete. So just like that. You know, I did IF config, John, who am I? PWD, copy, which <laughs> didn't even work. Um, but I did execute it correctly. I, I did Hydra a whole bunch, which I didn't get credit for here. It took me 25 minutes to complete that domain or that dojo. So guys, like if you're like, I don't know, like trying to level up your skills or whatever, and you have 30 minutes like till your next meeting or you know, you're, you're like 25 minutes until class starts or, or whatever. You're waiting for your buddy to show up instead of watching Netflix or something. 
pop into a dojo and just crush one for like 20 minutes. Repetition, guys. It's pretty cool. Hold on, I don't want to go back in here. No, 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 no. I pushed the wrong button. Cool. Now, another thing that they have here that's pretty cool, it gives you kind of a notification on what you're doing. Somebody jumped in earlier and said there wasn't uh, content. They beat the game and they were waiting. Look at this. This is actually like upcoming content. Volume 2, Secrets of the Phoenix Scanner. Volume 3, Hunt for the Data Dragon. Um, there's a new uh, dojo dropping that I'll be previewing um, next time I'm streaming World of Haiku. I don't want to ruin it. I don't want to ruin it, but I will tell you it actually has a couple uh, utilities to it that are pretty cool. Uh, it's even got um, one of the more like exotic, sexy, um, you know, elements of cybersecurity that is talked about quite a bit, but not done. So that's a teaser uh, on that one. So stay tuned for the next stream. But it is five o'clock. I'll spend a few minutes talking to chat. I hope you guys had a good time with World of Haiku. Like I said, there's links in the description below if you're interested in checking it out. It's only available on Steam and there is an, um, what's called the next solo launcher. If you go to like frequently asked questions or something, you'll see. Um, looking at the poll really quickly, I see that 71% of you with 58 people voting, which is a pretty good, um, a pretty good uh, head count. 71% want it, 9% do not want it, and 21% don't care. So I would say that's really like 71% against 9%. So interesting, interesting me metrics. Yeah, it is jaw jacking, uh, Carrie. I'm gonna go ahead and end the poll. Thank you all for, thank you all for taking a hot minute to. Um, uh, Okay, I want to thank you all for um, streaming. So, I mean, streaming. Thank you. Thank you for being here for the stream. If you got value, hit the like button. It's always appreciated. Um, I do this every single Monday. Uh, next week, uh, I won't have a stream because I have a personal uh, day off for my wife's birthday, which is uh, pretty sig significant and substantial. So we'll be resuming um, on the 13th of February, but I hope you guys all had a good time. Hit me up on uh, chat or DMs or Discord or whatever if you want to chit-chat about the stream or about World of Haiku. I, I love it. Let's see. That's okay, Adam. Team Replay it is. Thanks so much, guys. Hit the like button. It's on fire. <laughs> I appreciate it. Guys, be good. I'm Jerry. This was Haiku, World of Haiku. Have a great rest of your day, and until next time, stay secure. Yeah! <laughs>